I remember when I was bedridden for six years with uh, chronic f f <laughs> fatigue syndrome. All right, and I was desperate. I couldn't really accomplish anything. That uh, Dennis Prager enlisted me in this universal battle for good against evil. Right, that gave me the strength and power to, to carry on. All right. So if you hurt, if like your life isn't working, you're going to be particularly susceptible to gurus who come along and promise to lay a qu quilt of meaning over your world and help you. Everything suddenly falls into place. Everything starts to make sense. You suddenly have a reason and a purpose for life. You suddenly have energy. You have things to fight for. You have things to achieve. You, you suddenly see who the good guys are and the bad guys are. All right. But what type of person is so needy for a guru? What type of person is so needy for someone to lay a quilt of, of meaning over American national politics so that you impute far more meaning into politics than is really there, right? American politics, in the words of Tom Wolfe, is like a freight train going down a track, and people to the right of the track will have complaints, and people to the left of the track will have complaints, but it won't really change the freight train. It's just going down, down the track. And 99% of the time, right, it's not going to matter to your real life, whether it's Barack Obama, George W. Bush, Donald Trump, or Joe Biden, who's president of the United States. But if that reality is too humdrum and boring, you need something more exciting to transport you out of the reality of the frustrations of your quotidian existence. Then you're going to turn to someone who makes an offer of, I will, I will share with you what's really going on, right? I will, I will give you the secrets of, of what's really driving the national conversation, right? I will help you discern what, what's right and what's wrong. I think, you know, this person is really opening my eyes to what's going on. And then it turns out that what they said is flawed. And so another commentator comes along and I feel like, oh, this person, he really gets what, what's going on. But then that person turns out to be flawed. But it all comes from the same needy place of needing someone to come along and lay a quilt of meaning over the world around me to enlist me essentially in some kind of war to give my life you know, greater significance than, than it has in my, my daily tasks and responsibilities, like someone, right, I'm not married, I, I don't have kids, but I have a moderate amount of responsibilities. I have various volunteer organizations that I contribute to. I play an important role in, in some individual's lives.